And we're back with more of the best games from the Ludum Dory 44 Game Jam, where all games are on the theme, your life is go and see. And if you like what you see, please do consider supporting me on Patreon for one dollar a month. Uh, the link's in the description. And we start off with a cute little game called The Joy of Creationism with God Ross. Now, I have a little blank canvas called the planet Earth, and I can do things. I can experiment, I can add people, I can add predators, and I can add prey. At the moment, all I've done is let, let it rain. There's the rain. Um, you'd be basically control this by clicking the coins at the bottom. It's very straightforward. Right, make it rain! There we go. Right, let's add some humans onto the scene. So you'll see these. Oh, well, you can actually spin the globe yourself if you want. Um, you can actually turn off auto-rotate if you, if you are going a bit mad. But yeah, you can actually see our little human lads wandering around the place. And we can add loads more. And eventually they'll build things. And you can experiment with how like the predator-prey relationship works. Let's actually add. I keep on trying to drag them into the thing, but you, you can't. All you have to do is click the coins and they'll appear automatically. But I like to actually see what's going on, so I do try and end up spinning the globe into the daytime most of the time. I think those little orange guys um, are all over the place. They're going to be like the prey. Let's add some more serious people. And these are bears over here. So, oh yeah, look, there we go. I think a human. Oh, actually, that's a human, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to get, get back into the light. Let's try and see how they interact. It looks like they've been, things are chasing each other. You can zoom in a bit if you really want to see what the hell is going on. Let's add a few more humans. And there's a bit of everything. A little bit of everything. What a strange noise they all make. Also a bit of rain. There goes, there goes a cloud now. Let's go watch the orange lad running around the place. Oh, I got to have, oh look, there's, there's, there's some love going on. I think there's breeding. Hopefully it's not between like sheep and wolves that, or something like that, because that would be quite peculiar. There's actually a lot of love going on all around the world. There. I'm adding a bear. Another bear. Let's make the bears run rampant. Plenty of coin. The bears are just like sitting there, though. They're not the most active lads in the world, are they? They're just hanging out. I think if anything runs into them, then they'll probably get eaten. They'll get eat. Oh dear, look. Something happened over there. There was a death. I think it must be the sh Oh, hello. Okay, the world is now starting to build itself. The humans are making a nuisance of themselves by building shacks. Oh, a church. A church has grown. Yeah. So we're going to get a whole city at this rate. Hang on. I've spent everything. I think I've just spent all my coins. Oh! There's a limit. I managed to get a few buildings up. But otherwise, I think we are now all spent out. Cute. Nice little simulator in very strange clothing. This is Puckamuck. This is a platform game with a twist. You can't move, but you can jump. Um, thankfully. Um, you can also eat babies for some reason. Um, I want an iPhone. I have no cash. So I'm using a controller for this. Um, so you can jump. But so you can't walk. Uh, you can duck. But anyway, let's get going. You've got various levels of jump as well, so you don't need to go mad. Anyway, how do I actually get out of here? Brr. I have no cash. Yes. Next level, spikies. The government has announced that coins are useless. Blood is the new currency. Oh no. Right, jump. Let's chow down on this lad. Yes, I'm drinking the baby blood. Lol, I'll be rich. Oh, careful. Onto the next screen. Me can jump hit higher. I gotta hold down. Oh yes, you. If you press down, and then jump. Yeah, you jump higher. But yeah, we've got a, a limited amount of blood. You can see in the top. Ha! In the top left. You might be able to. No, we'll have to have to do a bit of sacrificing there. So there's a bit of exploration in this. I'm. I'm no, I think last time I went to the right, but this time... See if there's anything up there. There is! Chimkin! Yeah, I haven't been here before. Ooh, nice. A little bit of a secret. Oh, here we go, look, a secret chicken. Duck. Chicken. Duck. Oh! Right, okay. No! Ha! There we go. I like this chicken. It's soft. I remember seeing four more of them. I said gee? Gee? 
All right. So I found, well, not sure if that's a secret or whether it's actually the vital part of the game. Nine babies left, apparently. Oh, dear. Now it's starting to get a bit more. Oh, you little... Oh. There we go. Careful. Careful. Oh, you rotten sh... Uh -huh. Tricky little bugger, this. Uh -huh. Dicks! <laughs> oh. Ha. 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 <sighs> oh, that was so close. I think he's a bouncy. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> They are bouncy. Got you. Oh, things are going to get a little bouncier from now on. I remember this from before. Don't. Ah, I, I, yeah. I really should get him. Still only eight. Okay. There we go. There's the baby. Oh, you. Yeah, okay. That's the thing, isn't it? Right, let's see if I can actually do this. Ow. No. There's a certain super meat boy about this. Just just a little bit one. No. Ah. There we go. Well, whatever. Seven babies left. Oh, a shop. Hey kid, wanna buy some double jump shoes? It's only five bloods. I'll take your silences, yes. Enjoy. We don't accept refunds. Oh, I see. There we go. And then suddenly it's probably going to get a lot harder. God damn it. Oh my god. I think we might be um, kind of doomed at this point. I've got no blood. No! This is Knock Knock the Travelling Soulsman. In my office, now! I've been manager of the Soul Department for Aeons, and you're the worst employee I've ever seen! You're so lame you're behind Rodrigue, and he's a rock for Antichrist's sake! Best sales. One? Oh, two! Two! Nicholas Cage was at number two! Ooh. The Rock. <laughs> nice. You'll have to collect at least five souls and you don't want to, if you don't want to be sacked. Inquire, earn their trust, and sell them the correct wish in exchange for their mortal, immortal soul. Right, so we're basically a travelling salesman and we have to, like, um, um, earn their trust. Um, but you can use your little finger to do things. You can do all sorts of... You can do... Like, <laughs> you can break things. You can do things. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. I'm a brave travelling soulsman, and as you can guess, I'm here to buy your soul. And we have to, it's like a multiple choice thing, and you have to learn about them, and they'll trust you, hopefully, more and more, and reveal more stuff about you, themselves, and eventually be able to use that information to sell them a wish, as the thing explained earlier. Uh, but we, we've got to make sure that we, we tread carefully. Sorry, did I wake you up? I'm here to help you make a deal with the devil. All right. So tired. How's... How's work? Leave me alone! Oh dear. I chose very badly then. So I did not get any salt or anything. Let's... Let me in! Oh, hello, duck. Wow, you rang that doorbell like a winner. <laughs> I certainly did. Oh, look at all that cash. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. No. Okay, let's try... Let's try this. I'm a demon from hell, and I'm here to make all your wishes come true. Oh! Demon? Do you want money? Whatever you're selling, I'll buy it. Simply because I can afford it. So he's opened his door all the way, which means he trusts me. I'm going to poke your buck. Buck poke! Not sure what you can really do with any of that. And what do you do for fun? Oh shit. <laughs> we, you mean what don't I do for fun? Does that include present things? Of course! When you're rich, everything is funny. Some people risk their lives to cross the sea to escape war and death, but me and the boys, we do it for fun! It's called adventurous pleasure boating. Hmm. Wouldn't you want more money? Ah! 
Okay, <laughs> let's reply with laughter. Very good one, little demon. As if someone could have enough money. Wait until I tell the boys. And are you truly happy? Wow, you really don't get the whole I'm rich beyond your imagination concept, do you? Well, your soul is my last chance before I get fired, so excuse me if I'm not... Oh dear. Um, I have to care because in hell we do care about your well-being. Okay, we'll choose that one. Great response! I'm all, I'd almost hire you. My company needs people capable of selling hell like it was the good place. Ah, I think I've got what you need, and it only costs a soul. Right, so we've got to decide who, well, what he wants. What is your ultimate wish? I mean, obviously, to be rich would be a good one. There doesn't seem to be anything else. So let's choose to be rich. I think. I think I'm right. Of course, as if you could have enough money in your life. <laughs> got your soul. Ha! Apparently that was quite a straightforward one. There are others which are a little more... A little trickier. Oh no. This is Crazy Ambulance. Possibly the brother of Crispy Ambulance. So, we are basically uh, the person who's going to fall out of the back of this ambulance. That's me. I've gone. Or have I? So what I have to do is basically stay behind the ambulance and not get run over. My, my blood level is in the top left, and, and apparently you can collect blood packs as you go along. Although I've always lot of trouble- oh there's one! Oh! Shit. Okay. Unfortunately, I just ended up driving into a lorry and lost some blood. Right, so I'm going to be- oh, careful! Careful! Ow! Dicks! Ah, where are we going? Hud, hud. Um, I'm back! Ah! It's gone confusing. Okay, there. We're back. So the amp- oh shit. Oh dear, the lorry went flying. Yeah, it's actually really tricky. Um, but, okay. Calm down this time. It's also, the day-night cycle is brutal. Right, so there's literally only two controls. Go left and go right. And really, you have to like follow the ambulance as much as you can. The ambulance will knock things out of the way for you. Right, careful. This is a bit more easy this time. Get some blood. Oh, I missed it. That was a bit... You've got to be... You've got to nudge the character. If you if you go too mad... Oh, there we go. I actually got it that time. If you go too mad, bad things happen and you crash into things. Right, so be careful, be careful. I don't need to get the blood back at the moment anyway because we are quite full. Oh, now what are we going to do? Ow! Ah, yeah, when the ambulance slows down, it does actually get quite... Oh, I'm going! I'm off! We're off! You've got to be careful not to run into the back of the ambulance. So that adds another layer of, ow, oh, bloody hell, ow, oh, bloody hell. There's a the blood bag thing. Yes, that's good. Things are getting lighter again. Go round. Go round. Oh, there's a blood bag there I completely missed. It's so dark, though. Wait, get that one. That one, yes, got them. Oh, lorry, lorry, lorry. Every so many lorries. We are on the verge of death. We are so close to death. Oh, careful. Oh, there, there, there. Get the blood bag. Bag, 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 bag. Oh, didn't quite work. <laughs> 340, that's a lot better than the first time. So a cute little game. This is the ends. Uh, okay, so this is a very straightforward uh, little comment on work. And using your free time to earn more money. Oh, it's the end of the night. And I fell asleep. Oh dear. Uh, and now I'm at my job. Um, wake up. Oh dear, I'm not doing very well. Okay. Got to slam the balls, slam the balls, slam the balls. That's the end of my shift. Right, back at it. Go on, all my nighttime creative endeavours, absolutely destroying my life. Oh, oh, gone. Back at my job. Right, so the um, the thing on the 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 red green flashing thing is every time the ball goes into the slot. Um, well, if it's still a ball, it'll flash red. If it's if I've turned into a funny skyscraper thing, it'll turn green. Not that there's any real consequence, I don't think. Oh, I've almost finished my little freelance work. Yes! Hooray! Ugh. Imagine having to do this just to support a soul-destroying job that you hate. Not relatable at all. Oh, I'll fall asleep again. Go on, get up. You don't necessarily have to fall asleep. Which is, I think, I've been typing a bit too well in my nighttime job. Oh, God. Go on. Slap the button. There we go. Button slap. Button slap. Oh. Thankfully, my job isn't very long. <laughs> it's a very short job. Yeah. And so, no, I don't think there's much more to it than this. You did not make ends meet. I think I ran out of cash. 
And I absolutely 100% fell the hell asleep. So it's about balance, really. You can't spend all your time... I mean, I just typed like I, I went, was going mad. And I don't think you should really do that. And because you do fall asleep and die, or whatever. <laughs> whatever the message is, it's quite bleak. Okay, that's it for this video. Check out the playlist for more episodes in this series, and please do consider subscribing to Randomize User for more of the best indie games around. See you next time!